I want to say that being happy is not all about being happy, 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 joy, joy, and laughing your head off all the time and going around with a big smile plastered all over your face. Being happy can appear as little smiling and not that much laughter. Um, happiness is related to contentment and to peace. You can be quietly happy, quietly at peace and content in yourself. So first of all, I just want to say that because uh, in the shadow, which is the suppressed and repressed parts of ourselves that we have lurking in the shadows, in the shade within us, hiding and pushing away, denying and rejecting about ourselves within ourselves, this part doesn't want to. We don't want. To, it doesn't. It, it doesn't want to show itself. Or more like it, we don't want to show that part of ourselves to the world. Our so-called weaknesses and flaws and imperfections. The parts of ourselves that society has taught us to be ashamed of, fearful about exposing or showing or demonstrating, such as like crying. A typical example is obviously crying. If you're a man, it's you're not supposed to do this it's weak or it's female or it's vul it's it's you know all that stuff another part that springs to mind is if you're homosexual if you're gay man or female man or woman you know this is a huge stigma so the souls coming into this world who choose to experience and explore what it's like to be gay for example they know it's a tough one like lots of us choose challenging experiences coming in and that's for the purpose of the actual experience itself in the billion different ways and also to explore those themes and to grow through the experience and to become more conscious creator in this day and age we're becoming much more empowered conscious creators due to the power of the internet and the information age so that's why there's a huge transition to the information age. So, getting back to the point about happy, happy, joy, 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 we want to, often we're afraid to expose how we're truly feeling, a lot of emotional suppression. And we put up a, a facade, a, ma a public mask, a fake persona, and then when we go home, we might be crying or angry or getting pissed off or whatever else. Another stigma is cursing, you know, the F word. I won't bother saying it now because it just don't feel like it. It's just so stigmatized, but I can say it if I feel like it. All it is is an expression of an emotion. It's nothing worse than a leaf that I'm looking at. Or you've heard the analogy about a hammer. It can be used for good or for bad, for constructing or for destructing, for destroying or building up. <sighs> so beautiful here today I'm so happy that it's sunny and I can feel the warmth on my skin and I'm actually barefoot on the grass getting a bit of mother nature, nature's good energy so people like to appear happy happy to pretend that they're making it in life maybe or just to you know maybe we're, con we're also conditioned to to, to say expressing anger is like bad, shouldn't express anger, don't show people you're depressed or sad. So it leads to a lot of like seclusion and being isolated in your own. Um, a lot of things in the closet, in the closed wardrobe, even your own sadness or depression. We're trying to cope all on our own and it leads to much more suffering and much more sadness and depression. So one thing we've been taught is to support like basically to suppress and repress ourselves and our emotions. Whereas I know it's better to be true to yourself and to show your emotions much more in life and to be accept yourself to begin with, to accept these emotions. It's absolutely 100% normal and okay and good to have emotions. Emotions serve a purpose. Um, anger serves See, what we can do, and I suggest, is to look at our emotions and investigate our emotions and learn from our emotions. For example, anger can um, anger can teach us and show us that somebody is like crossing boundaries with us. Like, let's say someone's trying to like abuse us as a child or as an adult or an adolescent, a teenager. Someone is like talking down to us or mistreating us, showing us a lack of 
respect and honor and and care so anger therefore notifies us like a notification that something is happening that we don't like and it's not nice and it can even be destructive and harmful to us like physical abuse or violence even or sexual abuse so anger is good but then we were told don't to suppress everything the sadness and the anger and that hurts us uh, physically it can build to like prop this ease like problems physically and obviously mentally emotionally can kind of get in the way of our life a lot big time so being stressed and being anxious is generally a symptom of you're imagining the future going wrong so that that, that that's a sign to basically to, to stop doing that um, well more like anxiety and fear like generally it's imagining things that haven't even happened yet okay so it's just a condition of our thinking from this weird mad day and age which have no resistance towards and have nothing against it's a really fertile ground for discovering ourselves so to speak and more so creating ourselves who we want to be in the mixture of great contrast and contrasting elements the good and the bad the, the dark and the light so we don't have to be against our emotions and or part of ourselves or against life itself or society we don't have to be against anything whatsoever we've come here knowing all of this and we've chosen our body and our family and our society the big choice is for you now is who do you want to be in the midst of all of this that's the greatest thing about life who do you want to be what do you want to do where do you want to go today what do you want to say who do you want to I, I made a quotation on Facebook a while ago a few days ago it's not important who, what other, who other people are what's important is who you are in response that's really all you need to concern yourself with because you can't control other people but you can control your response and it's not even about the control of it like that's not the idea the whole idea of what's so great about it is you have the options and the choice of who you want to be and that's that's the magic of life because you are like a sculptor a a magical sculptor a painter and you're painting the canvas of your life every day moment by moment so let's change the camera view just for a second ah oh, so beautiful okay so so I've explained how emotions serve us and how they can teach us things so and I've talked about we don't have to put up a persona or a facade or pretend to be happy all the time it's actually good to admit you're sad total acceptance and love of your emotions no matter what they are no matter what thoughts come to your mind never shun yourself or put down yourself don't forget everyone is human well there's way more species like even in our galaxy and beyond in the universe but humans are human all right we're all like you and you're like us you're not alone and we all have thoughts and we've all gone through and many of us and most of us are always going through something but we've all basically gone through a lot of hardship we've come down knowing this but in this day and age we have the opportunity to come through and to blossom really a lot from our hardships the information and the help is out there you know and obviously if you're watching this video this is an example we're all students and teachers so there's nothing to be ashamed of you know sex and our physical bodies is another enormous topic of repression suppression and shadow for example someone who has been traumatized or abused or had an experience which was not good not comfortable or like 
feeling good about sex or the physical body. Some people could interpret me now as being like bad or inappropriate, but just because I'm making video topless. Um, so we we experience life through our the filter of our shadow and pain body, as Eckhart Tolle um, kind of describes something similar. Through our the filter of our perceptions and the, our own shadow and unresolved and repressed energy, this greatly influences how we view the world and the situation. For example, um, someone could say the F word, like saying, "Oh, this is effing great," and one person could be like, "Oh my God, they said the F word! Like they're like a bad person. I'm not going to associate it with these people," or even like give out or lecture the person. Is and another person could be just like loads of other people could be just like. Yeah, this is fantastic, I love this. And respect and honour and realise and know and understand that the person using a cuss word is simply um, emotionally at, at the moment, they're like happy and excited and thrilled and like in awe maybe. And maybe in great appreciation and expressing that their way. Because we're all different, we have to respect and honour our way and another person's way. So what I'm saying also is we're entitled to our way just as others are entitled to their way and respect and honor each other's ways there's a, a million billion trillion tools and spiritual tools and practices and things you can do to find peace and happiness in life just because i am excited about meditation like not me personally <laughs> like personally i am actually to be honest but just because that's how i am um doesn't mean i have to force it on you or tell you what to do or keep like nagging you to try meditation Someone could like, like to be honest guys, I actually follow boxing, like I've made 900 videos about health and spirituality and for some reason I just still happen to have an interest in boxing, it's the way I am, it's like physicality, masculinity and sort of like competition was powerfully like in me as a growing up person, as a teenager, I was like very different to the way I am now and you know, I'm not. I'm going to demonstrate not putting a mask up or pretending. You know, like, and I might lose friends from this, and that's okay. Someone might think, "Oh, he's nonsense. I can't trust this person." And I don't mind that. You know, like, it's not about being a people's pleaser. Really, what's important if if the people who are really meant to be with you or important to you will view you as important and will respect and honor honor you without judging you as being bad, wrong or shouldn't be that way. They'll try and understand. Understanding is like paramount, understanding. So I've always been a very physical person and like competitive, but I've lost the competition as I've grown and kind of budded to a degree as a human being and a spiritual being. So I'm not like that anymore, but you know, there's little things that I do for like fun or hobby. I'm a pretty simple person. I like nature. I like sort of physical exercises and like body weight exercises. I love just natural body and then um, being like being naked or nude in the sun or swimming in the sea. It's like it's just uh. I swear to God, if you haven't tried swimming in the sea naked, oh my God, it's like a spiritual experience. It's like being in the bosom, the the womb of Mother Earth herself. It's very very magical and spiritual experience. You feel so free, you know. We've been so conditioned to always wear clothes, like. We were born naked and every single insect and animal don't wear clothes and they don't have all these problems of like society. We are living away from like nature and that's the more we live away the greater we suffer and the greater we suffer generally the more we live away. It's like a cycle so awareness is the key, seeing the bigger picture, the truth and then realigning with nature. Same with diet, like we're the only creatures who, who process our foods extensively. I find really, I feel the best when I just like eat food just the way it grows from the land or on the tree. Like today, for example, I had like <laughs> two little flies <laughs> now on my shoulder. But today I had like, for breakfast, I had like um, an hour after I got up, after having water, I had um, five oranges and some iceberg lettuce. And that's what I had like just half an hour ago. And I feel it's the best way. It feels really good for your mind and just feeling good and physically as well. So, if you, like Sally, my girlfriend, my partner, my, my, my soulmate, if you want to call her that, 
she was just stuff that I don't do and I didn't understand her at the beginning she didn't understand me because we're like total opposites and we're going to get together and make videos in the future just because it's good to mix that up to show the different sides of the kind the different perspectives but like she might watch things that I wouldn't generally watch like 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 television series but it's her way of unwinding and relaxing from the seriousness of the world and it brings her laughter so like how can you like slag or put down that or call it unspiritual yeah understanding remember remember that big word understanding so we don't have to like tell everyone all of our secrets but we don't have to necessarily be always keeping big secrets because you're entitled to be you and to like what you like and to not like what you don't like you don't have to explain everything to everyone but sometimes it's good to explain because understanding is so important so you're helping someone else to understand especially someone you live with and you have an ongoing relationship with I've made a lot of videos about that so you can check them out on my uh, on my YouTube channel and you, subs you can subscribe if you're new But what else is to say about the shadow? Repression and suppression. <sighs> Sex and masturbation is an enormous one. Even the word is taboo. Probably offending some people now, sorry. You know, religions have tried to control humans by suppressing the most natural and fundamental things about them. One is their creative creativity and trust in themselves, belief in themselves, the trust that they can communicate with God or a higher power without having to go to their church or pay them money. Even centuries ago, in Luther Lutheranism, I think, you had to actually pay to go to heaven or to... <laughs> stuff like that, like just crazy, silly stuff. <laughs> like it's all about human money, power and control. And the same way is when you suppress, like you're taking away their own faith in themselves, their, tr their trust, and you're totally depowering them. Same way about like, you know, like um, self-pleasure or sensuality, sex. Some religions have, like, take, have taught this to be wrong and bad. It's not. So then you get hung up about stuff, like hung up about everything. So we want to let go of being hung up, tense and like afraid of everything. And within appropriateness, be yourself. So I'm not just going to go like nude in public, and I wouldn't want to anyway. Well, you know, unless it was maybe on a beach on a nudist beach or something. But you know, you're not going to do inappropriate stuff or start singing like and in the street like full force in the middle. Like you're not going to do silly, crazy stuff. <laughs> so. Um, Yeah, so I hope you got the message in this video. Um, I feel I've covered everything that I thought about. Let me show you some, some place. Uh, we're near 20 minutes anyway, so kind of like the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. See you again in another video, not to love, wish you a good day and I don't wish you a big like happy bursting explosive smiley day or laughing your head off rolling on the ground but just to be honest with yourself, you can be sad, you can be stressed, you're not worse or weak, everyone gets sad and stressed, everybody, I do too, everybody gets bloody sad or stressed. There's no point in trying to pretend to be a superhuman, a fake human, just be or a robot, just be yourself. It's okay to be you and realize you're no different. Everyone's the same. We all have ups and downs and good days and bad days. Just one little baby step at a time of learning, growing, expanding and a little bit less sadness, anger and stress. And keep learning, remember, learning from everything is the most important. Okay, so like, don't be hard on yourself. Go easy and just take one step at a time. Keep learning and growing, watching videos that you're called to. Um, you, you don't have to do what other people do as, as I was saying or what other people want and you don't have to make other people do what you want or what you do there's a thousand tools a million tools and ways and there's a different way or different ways for everybody and we can love and celebrate honor and be happy about that and that's part of life the gift of life many different ways so
So be, ex be okay with your emotions, accept your emotions. Usually I find that empaths are actually like this, people who are highly energy sensitive, they're much more um, in tune with their physical body, um, generally women are too. That's why they're generally also more like emotional. Uh, they're more accepting of their emotions, so yeah, empaths to highly, highly sensitive people who are energy sensitive, etc. So we all can learn, I've learned from my partner Sally who's been like this. Um, <laughs> And I thank her and I thank her now and I give her honor and respect for doing that in my life to helping me. So it's been really helpful for me and now I'm just passing on the message. So God bless and namaste and lots of love, okay? Take it easy. Be simple and real, okay? Bye.